happy Monday everyone. So I took a couple days off this weekend and did not post any Facebook Live videos. Um, so today I wanted to talk briefly about two things. One, um, the organization that I'm a part of that has really supported me in being a victim of drunk driving uh, called Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Um, and I just want to say that anyone who's been affected by drunk driving or if there's someone you know, I would definitely recommend pointing them in the direction of um, getting some help. So there are a lot of services with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I had a victim advocate, Karen, thank you, who attended um, every court date, whether I was able to physically or not be present. And she was able to provide resources to my family, provide emotional support. Um, she was able to actually talk to the state's attorney about um, different things that could impact the judgment that Cook County specifically didn't have, like requiring the drunk driver to put a breathalyzer in her car. Not all counties <laughs> require that. And so there are certain things that you can ask for via during their plea deal, hopefully if they do plead, <laughs> plead guilty. So um, anyways, every year I um, manage and support a team called Team Beast um, that participates in a Walk Like Mad event. So every year in June, um, my people, <laughs> um, Team Beast, will walk with several other teams. And actually it's gotten so big that we, act, we had to move locations um, because the Glen Allen location that we originally had, um, as I was told by MAD, um, was no longer big enough to hold us. So basically it's a 5K. Um, the first year that I went, I still had a cane, so I literally walked down the block and then back. I did not walk the entire, you know, three miles, I think is what it, what it is. Um, and then every year I've gotten stronger, uh, I ditched my cane, and then I ditched my AFOs, and so last year I was able to participate in the full 5k, which like I said I believe is three miles, and that was awesome, and so I've had family support, I've had um, support of friends, um, and it's a great way to raise money for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Um, so when you register to walk, I think it's like 25 to 35 dollars, you do get a t-shirt, um, and then you participate in a 5k and who doesn't want to be active and be outside in the sunshine um, during the summer and support a great cause. Um, for those of you who cannot physically be at the Walk Like Mad event, um, it's this year. It is on, I believe, June 9th. It is called the Will County Walk Like Mad and 5k Dash 2019 um, at Hickory Creek Preserve Shelter. And I will post the information along with this video. Um, it usually starts about 9 a.m. I think people get there at eight to register and then we start walking at nine. Um, I could be wrong. Let's see. Um, la, la, la. Yeah, 9.15 to 2 p.m. And then usually victims are encouraged to share their stories. Um, and I'll just say the last event that I went to, I was one of three survivors. Um, I think before that, there was times when I was the only survivor, so it just goes to show you how drunk driving just destroys families in a lot of ways and destroys lives. And so a lot of victims' families will come, and I've had a lot of great support from them, and we get to share our stories of being a victim of drunk driving, whether that's someone who's a survivor like myself, or whether that's families who have lost a loved one. So again, that's June 9th, the Will County Walk Like Mad. I will post a link to Team Beast if you would like to come and support my team and walk with us and or um, a lot of people virtually walk so if you can't physically be there for whatever reason a health condition or a prior commitment um, the link that I will post will be attached to my specific group and I always try to raise about $500 every year um, so if you have it in your heart to donate to this cause 100% of the proceeds go to MAD directly, um, so they're not filtered through me or anyone who's doing a team. It goes right to MAD, and then it supports the full-time staff who work tirelessly, like Karen, um, the victim advocates who come to court with you know, victims against the drunk driver, who um, provide emotional support, who provide connection to resources, like one of the things that I had to apply for was victim's compensation, and so that's for people who have victims been victims of a violent crime, and it's 
compensation to help you when you can no longer work and kind of um, you know help you pay your bills and things like that so Matt has been a really 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 great resource in my life and I've met a lot of great people over the last two years I've also been able to go to different high schools and speak um, with students actually on prom day um, because prom day is one of the I think the highest you know statistically it has one of the highest rates of drunk driving I think um, so I was able to speak at two different high schools and just really share my story not only about being hit by a drunk driver but my story of forgiveness and things like that um, so Matt is such a great um, great organization we interviewed them for the documentary they shared statistics and things like that and it's it's definitely an organization that I wish more people knew about um, and even for myself I wish that it didn't take me to be almost killed by a drunk driver to um, participate uh, with MAD because I think that they're a great organization to help end drunk driving and so their mission statement honestly I think one in four people nowadays are affected by a drunk driver um, their mission is the mission of mothers against drunk driving is to end drunk driving help drugged driving support the victims of those violent crimes and prevent underage drinking. And also now with the texting and driving um, laws that they have, there are people who are affected by distracted driving. And so that's another thing that they uh, work for, you know, people who are impacted by um, distracted drivers as well. So um, for the sake of not going so long today, I will talk about this tomorrow. But one thing that I wanted to address that I've actually spent four years working through is trauma. And I really wanted to touch on this topic um, as someone who's been through a traumatic event. I feel like everyone has some sort of trauma in their life um, in numerous ways, whether that be you know familial dysfunction, any sort of abuse, um, any sort of car crash, whatever. Um, there's just so many things that can cause trauma in someone's life. And so my therapist, who I love, and I've been with her since after the crash, actually recommended this book called Trauma is Really Strange. So for those of you who love pictures, which I do, um, when you're reading, this is, I think this is such a great resource because with one of the things I found about trauma that's true for me. And I am one of those people that a lot of people will say, oh, Erin, you're so in touch with your feelings. You know exactly what you're feeling. But I will say that trauma disrupts that completely for me. So there are times when I'll have a feeling or I'll have a thought or I'll have something that freaks me out and I have no idea why I'm feeling that way. I have no idea what connection there is other than the trauma of the crash. And so this book kind of helps break down what trauma is, how it affects you, um, and probably ways to cope with it and I actually have not finished reading it um, so I wanted to do kind of a read with me scenario um, and read this with you tomorrow and that way those of you who've experienced trauma or those of you who know people have experienced trauma can hopefully gain um, take something away from this and gain some understanding on how to be there for those you love that have gone through trauma that may not be able to articulate that or may not understand their trauma themselves or for you who may not have that connection. Um, I think it's said that the longest six inches is between your brain and your heart and I found that to be true, um, especially with relation to trauma. So again, I'll talk about this tomorrow. Um, actually, I'll read this with you. I think that would be an effective way to do it together. Um, again, look out for my link with the MAD walk. I would love to have your support, whether you're physically able to be there or financially, if you can donate even $5 to the cause, it would be great. Um, I've been able to reach my goal of at least $500 every year. So thank you so much for that. I'm still working on a video. I've compiled videos, um, clips and photos from every walk that I've done, which has been about four now. Um, and so I hope to put that on YouTube to kind of show people um, just how great these walks are. And for those of you who like my page, um, thank you so much for watching, hello. And if you have any questions about my trauma, my crash, um, things that I do to deal with pain or trauma or whatever it is, please, you know, write your questions below and I will try to address them in future videos. 
um, send me an inst uh, a direct message. Um, I would love to interact with you and get to know you a little bit better. All right, have a great day.